Hey, hey, do you know what today is? Well, it's almost our anniversary. Almost. almost. It's our anniversary almost. weekend. Yeah. And so we out in these streets of Dallas and we're going to take y'all with us. We just dropped them kids off so that we can have some mommy, daddy turn up fun. So stay with us. But before you know, you keep on watching, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And when you hit that subscribe button, make sure that you hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we drop the new videos. We'll be out in these streets, okay? I got biscotti and froze, big boss like I'm rose. Ice and Wendy's, that's a dome. Low baddie, yeah, she homemade. Rap my city at the home game. Up and down, they go both ways. And the sprinter is taking them both lanes. Hopping, we zooming, the package be booming. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing in love with the moment. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing. You see how we moving, we got it, we got it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. All of my bros, we got it, got it. They know for sure, we got it, got it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, at it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, at it. Hop in, we zoom in, the package be booming. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing in love with the moment. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing. You see how we moving? We got it, we got it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us. I highly doubt it. All of my bros, we got it, got it. They know for sure we got it, got it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, at it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us. I highly doubt it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, at it. I dare them to try me, they know that I got it. I make it deposit. They all callin', three little baddies, they all got a fatty I call them a cabbie, they all honey We never slack when we on the track I keep me a pack like Bob Marley Just give me the loot, cause we on pursuit Dressed in a suit like Steve Harvey It's really just me and my bros, ayy People be hatin', ain't throwin' shade Don't give them the time, say no names Cause we bought our money, play no games Stack up our bread like whole grains Still indie like no name Swag and splash, that's our old name ISO, we in our own lane Hop in, we zoom in, the package we boomin' Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it She picking and choosin' in love with the moment yeah, we got it, we got it's it, got Sunday, it. September 5th, so still one day into our actual anniversary, but we still, you know, celebrating out here today. Oh, we, long. we got everybody in the car. We got Legacy back there. Say hey, girl. Say hi. <laughs> she like, legend back in the car seat behind me, and we headed to church because, you know, one of the things that helps keep marriage, you know, successful and thriving is keeping God first. Amen. Now, typically, I do not go to church because I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Like, I my husband got a church he likes to go to. That ain't really my cup of tea. But him and Legacy go all the time. But when my husband requested me to go to church with him today. Special request. I said, okay, this is your anniversary gift. So <laughs> I, I, I got up and got myself and the baby ready. And we about to, you know, go do some worshiping. Miracles on miracles. A million little miracles. I just want to let y'all know how good the legend is. He stays sleep the whole time at church. And he even sleep while we out to eat at JG's old fashioned burgers. And let me tell y'all, listen, it's half eaten right now, but this is the best burger I had in Texas, point blank, hands on period. And this is right around the corner from my house. I don't know why I've been here before, but if you in the North Dallas area, check them out. So we just shopped out the kiddos. And we are headed downtown to go to the movies to see Candyman. We have not been to the movies together in at least, how long, babe? At 
these two years. Yeah, it's, it's been a long, long time because of COVID. And then the fact when you got a kid going to the movies is the last place you want to go when you got some free time with some kids. You try to go to sleep. But we're going to go to the movies to see Candyman. And then we're going to go to dinner at Town Perth. Um, I let Baby pick that restaurant. They got some good reviews. But we probably won't even get to eat there for real, for real. Because we thought that the kids, um, daycare place closed at 10 o'clock tonight. But they closed at 9. And our dinner reservation is at 8. And I don't want to be late picking up my baby, so we're probably going to like have drinks at the bar in order to go food, and then when we get home, eat that food. But we'll see. We may get there a little early and maybe do it all, but fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. For those that think where are they dropping these kids off to, Adventure Play Care is where we take them. It's like a Chuck E. Cheese, but the kids can stay there and play. It's separated by age, and we love them. That. It's so crazy how much Dallas has changed. Like the husband used to live down here in one of these apartments and like the fact that there's our grocery store down here, there's restaurants and bars and a movie theater. It's crazy. Like every time you blink, there's something new down here. The hubby running back to the car to get his jacket. But we have arrived at Sinanopolis, which is a brand new well, I don't know. It's, it is brand new to us as we've never been here. I don't know how long it's been open for, but it's in downtown Dallas and it has some amazing views of the city from down here. We did not realize that they had food here. So we're just gonna eat here because we gotta pick the kids up at nine. Candyman was at 5.30. Our dinner reservation was at eight. Ain't no way we're gonna have, you know, a, a good dining experience, so. You know, we're gonna eat here since they say this is the luxury cinemas. Hopefully they got some you know, good food and some good drinks. I just want y'all to see that I am cute for day night. Hey. Both eradicate people. It's sexy in here. It's nice there. To make the world to the best. I rarely talk bad about anybody or anything because I try to spread positivity and joy, but um, baby, Candyman gets a thumbs down from me. Like, I am officially done with Jordan Peele, but hey, that's just my personal opinion. Um, take it with a grain of salt, but it just, it was not for me. We had to cut date night a little early because they called and said legend was not happy so we're gonna get our baby so luckily we ate at the movie theaters but babe how'd you like candy man suck <laughs> two flaming thumbs down not flaming, <laughs> flaming <thumbs. laughs> Trash. it was hot hot garbage <laughs> hot garbage <laughs> The food was good, my drinks was good, and I was with my beautiful lady, so we had a good time still. It was a quality time. Good to be back in the movies. Now it's time to get these babies, but more adventures on our actual anniversary, yeah, so keep on watching. Just getting started, baby. Today is September 6th. And what day is that, baby? Our anniversary. Yes, it is. Six years. And so we are at the Great Wolf Lodge in Grapevine with the kiddos. So that's what y'all hear in the background. You hear Legacy getting busy back there. Um, we here to you know, have a good time with the kids, you know. A little family staycation for one day. Mm-hmm. We about to get into some shenanigans, you know, so keep on watching. And so whenever we travel, I always give y'all a tour of our room. So this is the bathroom. Nothing super fancy in here, you know. Got a tub to put legacy in. You know, decent size. Legacy bed. You know, mirror. But this is the cool part. Legacy has her own little room in here. In the wolf den, you got you a bunk bed, girl. You gonna sleep in here? tonight yeah you gotta take off your shoes though you got your shoes on we can't have your shoes in the bed girl you know your shoes dirty you know your shoes is dirty but the wolf den has a little tv so she can you know be over here watching tv she already looks she already trying to tuck herself in and take a little nap you, you sorry girl um we got a queen size bed over here for me and the hubby 
This room also comes with a pull-out sofa, which we're not going to need, but Legacy may, you know, lay on there a little bit tonight. We got a little pack and play that we asked them to provide for Legend. Um, the view ain't nothing too, you know, impressive. Just a lot of greenery, some streets. A little table over here for us to eat at. And another TV. Uh, and also, we got a microwave and a refrigerator, which definitely comes in handy when you're traveling with kids. If you're gonna stay at a Great Wolf Lodge, I highly recommend that you do the mobile check-in because baby, that saved us like at least a good hour. It's Labor Day and there's a ton of people that are checking in today. Um, we got an incredible rate, like the room that we're staying in typically is like $600, um, like with taxes and everything, it's like 183 or something like that. Um, so I guess other people took advantage of that deal as well. And it's a lot of people here, but with mobile check-in, I was able to just walk outside, right up to the guy and got our key and was up in our room. Now, we are on the seventh floor at the very end of the hallway, so it was quite a long walk, but the husband is out moving the car right now, so that it's gonna be closer to where we are located. Um, they gave us some wristbands that we need to wear while we're here. This is a cashless place, so this key gets us into our room, and then whatever we want to purchase, we just, you know, tap it and scan as well. So that's real convenient. So I give them an A plus for the check-in because, like I said, if I had to wait in the line to check in, we'd still be in line right now. Legend just sleeping his little heart out while we all having fun out here. But he ready to get in the water when he wake up. He got his little matching trunks. Because we all matching out here. Oh my God, what an amazing anniversary weekend. Pretty amazing. We had a good time. We're still recovering. <laughs> Tired. So we did a lot. We went to church. We went to Great Wolf Lodge. We went to a pool, pool party. party. What was the highlight of your weekend? Hmm, the pick one. Hard to pick just one. I probably have to say the pool party. We hadn't been to a pool party together in forever, so it felt like back in the day when we were dating, <laughs> early on in our relationship, we were just turning up. <laughs> so that was a good time with everything I really enjoyed. For oh. me, you know, I, I told the people your church wasn't my cup of tea, but out of everything we did, I actually enjoyed church the most because <laughs> I'm an emotional person, so anything that evokes emotion, it made me cry. Um, they had what was called Miracle Sunday, so it wasn't their typical uh, situation that they have going on. And it was people basically giving their testimonies of miracles that happened in their lives. And literally, before that part started, the usher came and set a box of tissues like <laughs> down in front of me. And I'm thinking about, we're like, bitch, how many no tissues? <laughs> Who needed tissues? No. Me. Heidi, <laughs> so was a couple, of, a couple that shared their infertility journey um they had two miscarriages but you know they're currently 25 weeks pregnant so praying that you know 
the baby sticks for them, but you know, just, you know, I just understood their frustration and their pain. And granted, I had no miscarriages, but I know you want, you know, to bring something into this world so badly and it, you know, and you can't, you know, and everybody else, you know, seem to be working right. They'd be like, what's wrong with us? Like, right. where's, where's, <laughs> where's our baby at? So I definitely, you know, that got to me. <laughs> um, but like baby said, pool party was fun because it, it was, you know, like a throwback to when we first got together. <laughs> Back in our heyday, yeah. a certain shout out to Shoreline City Church. They put on a remarkable production, and that was my close friend that would have been our church experience. It was Honey, and so even though yeah. Great Wolf Lodge is an amazing place, I mean, it was our first time there, but child, the reason why they couldn't make number one or number two, because <laughs> Legacy was up to 4 30 in the morning on our anniversary night, like wilding out, <laughs> turning up, like. <laughs> All the way up, honey. And so she had a little separate room, honey. So we thought we was gonna go, bow, chicka, bow, bow. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Legacy said, no, ma'am, honey. No, ma'am, at all. <laughs> but during the day when we were at the water park, she was, you know, great. Yeah. But I wanna thank my husband for the amazing anniversary gifts he got for me. I really loved my Etta James plaque that's basically a, a replica of the record that I walked down the aisle to and my amazingly beautiful flowers. You're welcome. He made me look bad because he told me we wasn't going to anniversary <laughs> yes, and then <laughs> next thing I know, boom, I got, you know, flowers <laughs> and, you know, a sentimental gift. So thank you for that, babe. I say it's better to give than receive, <laughs> so I enjoy giving them. <laughs> but I want to thank you guys most of all for tuning in and watching and sharing in our anniversary. Six years down, forever to go. Six rings, keep it going. <laughs> All right, until next week, remember your miracles on the way. We're out.